God bless you, family. God, welcome to the Morning Devo. And today is Friday, so on Fridays I usually deal with wealth, wellness, health. So today we're going to do a wellness Devo. So we're going to talk about health, exercise, fitness, things like that to set off your Friday, set off your weekend on a positive note, right? And every time we get together, I'm hoping that you leave with something positive, something that will help you, not hurt you, something that will build you up, not break you down, right? So Friday is just those days that I try to really concentrate on health and wellness and wealth. Uh, yeah, we Christians, we talk about wealth. Yeah, we, we should be talking about wealth. We are the wealthiest people on this planet, right? As soon as we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, we have everything we ever needed when it comes to health and wellness and wealth. It just It's just that simple. It's a powerful thing. But if you think about it, what can't God do and for us in our lives, right? He could do all things. He's all powerful, almighty, creator of the whole universe, right? And instead of speaking to the universe, we speak to the God who created the universe. So we have a step up in our belief system. And we believe in not hocus pocus. We believe in the holiness, the righteousness, right? Uh, the wealth, the health. All the principles that God's word has in it, we believe it. At least I do. I know I believe everything I see in the scriptures. I may not understand everything in the scriptures, amen, until God brings that awareness and understanding to me, but I believe everything that the scriptures say. No matter what people say, oh, it was written by man, it was this, that, and the third. Listen, the word of God is the word of God. Whether or not there's contradictions in the scriptures or mistakes in the grammatical way of doing things, the word is the word and the word will impact your life. So my name is Brother Sam Lopez, a.k.a. DJ Sam Rock. These are the morning devos. I try to do these Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or in that hour at least. But um, I want to just welcome everybody. If this is your first time, guess what? No coincidences here. This is a divine appointment. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in, you know... Um, Chance and stuff like that. No, no randomness here. This is uh, really a direct approach to the scriptures by way of reading the scripture, seeing what God has to say about a situation, a purpose and a plan for our lives. And then we just discuss it. So welcome to the Morning Devo. God bless you. For all the podcast listeners, thank you again for tuning in, for listening to the podcast. I thank you so much. You are really thrive, driving this ministry forward. And all the listeners, of course, I can't forget, we're closing in on a million listeners just this year, right? At um, soulwinnerswithaz.org, the main website um, to go to for all things um, right that concerns the Cellar Radio Network. So, and also, the launch is coming. The launch is coming this Monday coming up, this Monday, we're going to uh, launch our new platform and we're going to do a five-day togetherness series, right? We're going to do a free five-day online course about how to share your faith. You just slide over to djsamrock.com forward slash S-Y-F, share your faith, S-Y-F. So djsamrock.com forward slash S-Y-F. Do that today. So that way before Monday, you're already set up and everything's on the go. It's very simple to do. I don't make things difficult for anybody. I want everybody to show up and have a good time. So with that said, if you know somebody right now that doesn't have social media, you can slide them right over to soulwinnerswithaz.org and they have everything they need. They have the podcast. They have a uh, video player. They have a Bible. Um, they have some information about the ministry and all that right there on the homepage. And also, right now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any prayer requests, please don't hesitate to connect with me. Don't hesitate to leave your prayer requests on the podcast. There should be a way to connect with me. And right here, you can inbox me if you want it private. But if you don't mind publicly you know, making a request, you can leave it right here in the live chat. So with that said, we're going to pray. And then you know the routine. If you, if you follow me, we're going to share this with as many people that come to our hearts and come to our mind right now. We're going to share for a minute. 60 seconds and trust me um, get your phones ready or your mobile device your laptop your desktop ready um, to start sharing you can share right now if you want amen start sharing you'll have you'll have what you call it you'll have a, an advantage over us if you start sharing right now but I'm going to take a moment to pray brother Robert God bless you man thank you for coming through um, take a time to pray right now and then we're going to take a 60 second break right to share this out with as many people as we can I'm just going to get this ready to go um, because I'm a slowpoke when it comes to the sharing, right? 
So right now, boom. So Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for health. I thank you for strength. And I speak strength, health, and wellness right now to every single viewer, every single listener right now in the powerful name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you are amazingly good in all your ways and everything that you do. You are powerful. You set things up for us to win, not for us to lose. And I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to show us through your wellness, through your scripture, through your health and wellness scriptures, amen, through your apostle, that we can win this day and we could win this thing over our health. We could be healthy either in our mind, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. You have all things good prepared for us, for those who believe and love you. So I thank you for today. I thank you for everybody that's joining and everybody that's joined already. And I thank you, Lord God, that we could speak forth Arquin angels and minister angels to line things up according to your will and purpose for our lives. So I set forth Arquin angels, minister angels, warring angels to really be on their assignment to annihilate the tactics of the enemy and destroy any demonic influence over our lives that's trying to distract us and trying to uh, uh, be aggressive with us. We push those things back in the powerful name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, for today and the days moving forward. And I thank you for yesterday as well. In Jesus' name, I pray by faith of all my friends and family. We all said amen and amen. So listen, if you're on, this is what happens. If you're on my Facebook group page and you didn't click the link um, where it says I, we would like to see you, this is what happens. All I would see is Facebook user. So take a minute, if you can, to um, click the, the post. It should be above this video, above this podcast. Um, there should be a post there. It's a link. You click there and all it does is allow me to see your name and your face in a little round circle. Uh, otherwise, if you don't do that, I'll just see Facebook user and I won't know who I'm addressing and I might miss somebody and I'm not doing it on purpose. OK, so God bless. Let's take the 60 seconds. And when we come back, we're going to slide into First Timothy, chapter four, first Timothy, chapter four, verses seven and eight. Let's talk about some wellness. Let's talk about some health real quick. Why not? Everybody else is doing There's a lot. So many gurus out there that are talking about do this, that, do that ripped abs, you know, thick arms and, you know, all this health and wellness going on. So let's see what the Bible has to say about health and wellness and exercise and things like that. So best exercise you can do, creating a godly health and wellness routine right here on the Wellness Devo, a.k.a. Morning Devo. So let me set this all up. Take a minute to share. When we come back, we'll be in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. I'll be right back. And ladies and gentlemen, the band continues. I just got a notification that I can't share at this point. Let's see what exactly what it says. So you know I'm not making this up. Let me see. Uh, share. And let me share to any group here. And it says, you can't share right now to prevent any misuse. We limit how often you can do certain things on Facebook. It looks like you hit one of our limits. Shadow ban. That's why I'm out of here, man. I'm so out of here. So tired of it. Um, It's just annoying that I see so many things online on this social media that is so like crazy and they get thousands of views without sponsoring nothing or all this comments and everything. And it's foul. It's wrong. It's not right. It's hurtful and everything. And it's still on there. But yet we come through here uh, preaching the gospel, right? And we get this ban. Um, so, you know, I, I can't wait to get off this. 
but I will be streaming here live. You know, don't get it wrong. I will be streaming live, but it won't. Be, I won't be here really. I'll be on my other platform, live. Winners with a Z. Org. So you'll just be seeing what I'm doing, and then I'll be directing everybody to the other site um, because I know that this is this is going to get worse and worse and worse because the message we have in our hearts and our minds is not the message that the social platform wants. Okay, First Timothy chapter four, verse starting at verse seven. <clears throat> be quick to abstain from senseless traditions and legends, but instead be engaged in the training of truth that brings righteousness. Verse eight: For athletic training only be- benefits you for a short season. I mean, you can say amen for a short season, but righteousness brings lasting benefit in everything. I like that. When God says everything and all and those type of words, those are God words. And everything for righteousness contains the promise of life for time and eternity. Like the great um, prophet Buzz Lightyear says, to infinity and beyond, right? So for athletic training only benefits you for a short season, but righteousness brings lasting benefit in everything. For righteousness contains the promise of life. See that? We have a promise. And the secret to the promise of life is righteousness. Righteousness means right standing with God. How can you and I have right standing with God? Through Jesus. Jesus says, I'm the only way to the Father. You have to get to the Father. You have to go through Him first. That's what Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 6, I believe. For time and eternity. So a quick secret that we already see right now in the scripture is the best exercise we can do is train in righteousness. Now I know I, I did a I guess I did a little word game here, wordplay, because I said best exercise you can do, right? Creating a godly health and wellness routine. Well, the power of God's word is the greatest health and wellness routine you could do. Because why? It impacts the soul, the body, and spirit. Right? So when God gives us the health to gain wealth, when God gives us the health in our body, the strength to speak, the strength to walk, um, to breathe, all that is grace. I'm breathing right now, right, borrowing God's breath. It's all grace. You're breathing right now, borrowing God's air, borrowing God's oxygen. And people don't want to hear this. That's why you get the shadow ban here. Nobody wants to hear this because it opposes and shocks people and threatens people's reality, right? And people get mad. What are you talking about? Health and wellness, you have to exercise, you have to do this, take this supplements. Yeah, I do exercise. I do take supplements. I do all of that. But I'm talking about what the word has to say about my health and my wellness and what it could do for your life. Cultivating a godly appetite, right, is I talk about appetites a lot when I talk about health and wellness. Why? Because our cravings, our cravings could be out of whack. <laughs> Sometimes we have these cravings that I want to eat a pizza pie at three in the morning. Where are those cravings coming from? It's coming from the flesh, not from the Spirit of God. Amen? The Spirit of God is not telling you to eat pizza at three in the morning. Sausage, you know, pepperoni. I'm getting hungry for a pizza. But you know what I'm talking about, right? So when I speak about these things, it's because God spoke about it first. Amen. God bless you, Sister Wandi. God bless you. Welcome to the Morning Devo, which is the Wellness Devo today. So the best exercise you can do is found in 1 Timothy 4, verses 7 and 8. Because a godly routine is an exercise. What is a training? Well, when you read the Word of God, you're training your mind. Therefore, God's going to bring remembrance to your brain, right? And he's going to, you know, the fogginess that you might be feeling could be due to a lot of issues. I'm not a doctor, obviously. I'm not a physician, obviously. I am a wellness coach, but I don't have the certifications that could tell you about the brain and this, that, and the third. What I could do and what I'm certified for doing, right? Because I am certified by the Lord Jesus through his word to speak that the best training you could do, right? To get this wellness, the best exercise you can do, right? Is reading the word of God. It trains everything. Your brain functions, right, clearer. You break out of this fogginess that we, we might be having, right? It gives you the ability to understand. It gives you um, strength to your bones, right? It brings health to your flesh. It brings everything good. 
right? The word of God doesn't bring you nothing bad that will break you down. The word of God will bring you something good that will build you up in all areas of your life. So I just happen to be talking about wellness because it's Friday and I love to celebrate health, wellness, and wealth on Fridays. Amen. If you have Jesus, you're the wealthiest person on the planet. If you have Jesus, you're the healthiest person on the planet. You know what happens? Sin, sickness, disease, and death entered into the world uninvited. God didn't create all that stuff. We caused those things to come into play by our disobedience. What I mean by our disobedience, if you read from Genesis chapter 3 all the way through, you'll find out that there was a rescue mission that was sent because of we fell. Man fell in the garden, right? Perfect garden. Because if you read Genesis chapter 1 and 2, everything was perfect, man. Then here comes Genesis chapter 3. And there was a, a eternal mishap. Something that happened that changed our um, eternal perspective. We fell. It's not God's fault that people die. That's why we feel a certain way when somebody dies close to us, right? We feel sad, mad, angry. Some people get angry. I know I get angry. I got angry when my dad died. I was only 15. Because it's not supposed to be that way. Nobody's supposed to die. That was in God's original plan. But Genesis chapter 3 shows you what happened in, in, the, in the world, and generally speaking. Amen? The Word of God, sister says, Wandi says, the Word of God prepares you for the day. Yes. And without the Word of God, I believe we are unprepared. Or we have Holy Spirit God. So, Sister Wandi, even if we don't read the Word, um, like, to start our day off, which I always suggest, read the word, get into the word, get into a devotion, you know, put some time apart for God during your day. And I believe the first of the day, if you put him first, I believe things happen better. But even if we don't read the word, we have Holy Spirit God in us, right? For that day, for the whole day, for our whole life, for all eternity. Amen. I just don't know how it works out when I get into heaven. I don't know if Holy Spirit comes out and just... I don't know what happens. All I know is that we have Holy Spirit now, the hope of glory, right now on this planet, on this side of eternity. So, yeah, the Word of God prepares you for the day. And that's a way of training. It trains our mind. It's a godly routine. And it is an exercise. Amen? Some people have not done this exercise in a very long time. The exercise of getting a Bible and opening it up. See the bodily functions there? Movement. Amen? And then the reading of the Word. You know, with the neck movement and the eyes going by, right? And the turning of the pages, using your fingers, amen? And sitting down and relaxing and breathing and taking in the Word of God. That's all health and wellness, all of it, amen? Sitting down with a nice cold bottle of water, something clear, water. And not soda, not, you know, alcohol or anything, but water, amen? Something clear, a beverage, 100% natural juice, and reading the Word of God um, with a coffee or the tea, with a nice um, energy energy tea or something like that. Man, there's so many benefits of reading God's Word. And guess what? Reading God's Word doesn't cost you anything. Reading God's Word is free. There's free apps. I could give you a Bible if you want. I could tell you with the apps that I use. They're all free. You don't even get charged for it. Um, but... Some people would rather go to Barnes & Noble and get a health and wellness book, a self-help book, and read that thing, take notes, and activate those words in that book from whatever author. Even though some authors have good points and some of them are Christian, some of them are godly people, and they do have lead you to Christ. But a lot of books on those shelves are just talking about the self-awareness. That we have an inner being already inside. We don't need God. We have we are gods. And we can speak to the universe. We don't need to speak to God of the universe. We need to speak to the universe and things like that. Right? And that we have these uh, mental capacities to change things and manifest things to happen. So people are drawn to those type of books. Why? Because it's all about them. It's all about it's what's in it for me. Right? Well, surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Everything that you need is in here, right? Uh, uh, I'm going through anxiety. Well, read the scripture. Going through fear, read the scripture. Someone, I just lost a loved one to an illness or disease, and I need comfort. Read the scripture. I, um, I need to renew my mind. Read the scripture. My body's aching. Is there anything in God's word that will tell me what to eat to make things better? It's in the scripture. 
there's nothing that God doesn't know. Amen? Things that we don't know is because we haven't found the answer through God's word. I believe 100%. If there was more than 100%, well, 100%, that means absolute belief in this God of the scriptures. And that's my choice. I could do that. People get mad when you say that. How could you do that? That's not even a, a logical conclusion. You know, the people start, the smart people start talking like that. And I'm like, you could, you could have your opinion, amen, of what, but how I'm living is a choice, amen. And I'm so glad that God gave me the opportunity and God gave you the opportunity to have a choice to trust and believe in Him for health and wellness, cultivating a godly appetite, right? Going into this whole thing about. Best exercise you could ever do in your life will be reading his word. So we were in First Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. When you create a godly health and wellness routine, that means you're sticking to something. Because if you do something, this is the, the study of human nature. You do something for two weeks, it becomes normally, it becomes a routine, a habit. So some people do things for two weeks that become an ungodly habit. Some people do uh, routine for two weeks and it becomes a golly a golly habit. It could be in your health. It could be in your, you know, your eating practices, your eating appetites. It could be um, your behavior patterns and stuff. Why don't you do this? I challenge you right now. Read the scriptures uh, every day for two weeks. Read the Bible every day for two weeks and watch what happens. I believe it would turn into a holy habit, and you'll be reading the scriptures. And you'll be like, "Wow, this is great!" And then that habit would turn into a daily thing. So you will have 365 days reading the Word of God. And that year, um, I promise you, God's going to show you different things, amazing things. He's going to bring health to your body, strength to your bones, health to your mind. He's going to renew, restore, give you the born-again experience, right? And give you victory over things that you thought you would never have victory over. And that is a godly appetite. That is how you can practice the best exercise you could ever do in this lifetime. Amen? It's reading His Word. Keep praying for Beatrice Rivas for strength and healing. She's still in the hospital. Father God, we continue to believe for Sister Beatrice that she's still in the hospital, Father God, but we know you are with her because the saints of your kingdom are praying for Sister Beatrice. So therefore, we expect a move of God. We expect God what you expect, and we thank you for your promise over her life. We thank you that we speak health, strength, protection, guidance, and uh, opportunity for the medical field to see your signs and wonders and miracles over Sister Beatrice's life in Jesus' name. Thank you for reminding me about Sister Beatrice Rivas. Amen. Thank you, Sister Wandi. So let's do this together. Let's have this rest of the year. We're, we're here in, well, we're at the end of September. Yep. And so that means it's going to be October, November, December. These last three months of this year, I, I believe, are the fastest months of the whole entire year. The summer months slow down, seems to be right. And then, and then when it comes to fall, boom, we're already in 2022. Like the rest of the year just flies by. So let's take our opportunity from now, right now. Let's try to start cultivating godly appetites. Let's start getting holy habits, routines that will lead us to life, not to death, right? Read the Word of God daily for two weeks right now, starting from today for two weeks and see what happens. And I know you're going to be testifying of God's greatness in your life when you start doing this as a holy routine. As a habit, right? The best exercise you can do is reading the Word of God. And then from now to December 31st, you'll be lined up, set up for the new year. And then your wellness and your health, amen. I also um, have a, a Facebook page called Healthier Options Nutritional Insight. Me and my wife run that page, amen. Healthier Options Nutritional Insight. If you want the practical parts, the pieces that are practical for you to get health and wellness into your body, amen. So it's the Honey Fam, H-O-N-I Fam, amen. So you can add me there as well on Instagram and on the other social media platforms that we're on. And those are the practical ways, what we're doing um, to try to keep this temple, which is the temple of God, healthy, amen. People, we all struggle with um, health issues, everybody. I'm going to struggle with it. Um, you're, you're probably struggling with everybody. Why? Because we live in a broken, fallen world. But we don't have to start owning things. Oh, that's my cancer. That's my diabetes. That's my illness. That we don't start have to start if it doesn't belong. Have you? I don't know anybody has who has invited any disease or sickness or illness into their body. So those things obviously are uninvited. 
So therefore, we could speak to them, name them, right? This is not about um, escapism. It's not about denying what's happening in your life. It's about not naming something and owning something that is uninvited into your life. Deal with it. Call it out by name. Ask God to remove it. If God does not remove it, right? If God does not remove it, that doesn't mean he has abandoned you. That means he's with you through it. And he's trying to show you something greater. Amen. There's no greater love than this, that God, through Jesus, laid down his life for a friend. Amen. So God already conquered sin, disease, sickness, death. He already conquered that on the cross of Calvary once for all. We just need to come to a place where we believe what God did. And not only for um, the time that he did it, but for all eternity. The greatest exercise, the best exercise you can do right here in the Wellness Devo. I challenge you to go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, read the whole chapter, amen, and that'll be your first step to two weeks reading the word, amen. It could be a scripture, it could be a, it depends. Uh, I, I love to read and write, so I could sit down and read scriptures all day, amen. Uh, I could look at tutorials all day too, the most boringest thing to some people, but to me those things they activate me. They keep me thinking. They keep my mind moving. Amen. Into a forward place. So I hope and pray that this has done something for you. I challenge you right now to start reading the word every day for two weeks. And then two weeks later, amen, let me know what happens in your life. I don't know it's going to be something amazing because God doesn't leave things undone. What God starts, he shall finish. What God removes can never come back. What God delivers you from will never come back. Amen. So if you need deliverance, maybe you're um, struggling with your weight. Maybe you're struggling with um, ungodly appetites. Maybe you're struggling with addiction, sexual addictions, drug addictions, um, pornography, whatever the case may be. Or for some woman is reading um, those um, romance novels. That could be an addiction too. So whatever the case may be, if you concentrate and focus not on the problem, not on the addiction, not on the struggle, but if you focus on the one who has the answer through his word, I could guarantee you that God will deliver you from all things that are not from him and of him through reading his word. And to some, that might sound too easy to believe. But listen, the power of God's word is his power. I can't explain it. Amen. I just know it. I just know that God's power, his word is powerful. Because why? Because he delivered me from a sexual addiction that was messing me up since I was a young kid all the way to 30 years old, 31 almost. And... I was like, why can't I kick this? And then I found a simple scripture, a principle in God's word that God sees all things. And when I said, when I realized that God sees all things, I was like, whoa. So that means he sees this, what I'm doing in the secret, because God sees all things. And from that word, I was delivered. There was nobody laid hands on me, no oil, which is not nothing wrong with being laid hands on and getting the oil. Um, nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying in my situation, I got delivered from this sexual addiction with none of that. It was just because a word, a principle of God, of God, a characteristic of God, a powerful move of God through his word. Thank God I was reading, right? His word. And I was training my mind to think godly. I was training my eyes to focus on him. I was training my mind. I was training my mouth to speak the word instead of speaking what this world is saying. I was training my body, exercising and working out and doing these things that add benefit to your body for a short time, for a season, but for all eternity and all, you know, future coming. Amen. The word of God will always be the lasting, the outlasting um, factor in our lives is his word, the power. So his powerful word is the best exercise you can do. Get into a routine of reading his word. Amen. Get into a, a, a routine of creating a godly health and wellness routine. And you'll see for yourself firsthand that the word of God is able to do everything that the word of God says he will do in his word. Amen. It's his word. He has his word on its stamp of his approval. Amen. The word of God came alive. The word of God is life to the soul. Yes. There's nothing that the word of God will not be able to do in your life when you receive it. I know some people right now that read the word just to read it, to mark it off their checklist. and They're not receiving anything from it because they're not reading it with intentions to receive. They're reading it with intentions to disbelieve, to disprove. You know how many people I've met that said they disproved the scriptures and that how it's not real and how it's not true? And then they go about this life of anger, right? They're angry. At me for believing in Jesus, for believing in the word of God. They're angry. They're not successful. They're sick. They're tired. Right? They're aggravated. They're um, frustrated. And then they're blaming it on God. The very God 
And the very word that they say they don't believe in, they're blaming it on him. Well, I can't laugh about that because that's how I was living before Jesus. My dad died when I was 15. Guess what? I blamed God and I didn't even believe in him. I didn't even trust in him. I didn't even read his word. But I said, let me blame the higher being, the one who says he created us all. So I'm going to blame him. So from 15 all the way to 30 years old, I was blaming God for everything that bad that happened. I blamed him. But when something good happened, I didn't give God no credit. I was like, oh, I made that happen. Or a friend made that happen. Or it was by chance. Or it was luck. I wasn't talking about no Jesus. I was I was in a religious, I had a religious background with Catholicism, right? But even in that, it was ratchet. And my, my way of serving was ratchet because I was only after pleasure, just hanging out with people, getting um, with my son's mom at the time, and all this other stuff. So out of my... Trying to be nice and a good guy, I actually was doing wicked and evil things and just satisfying my own evil, sinful desires. Amen? And that was an ungodly routine. Even though people call me church boy because I had some association with the Catholic Church at the time when I was a teenager into my young adult age, right? Um, they call me church boy, but uh, I was still part of the world. I had one, I had, I had both feet in the world. Not one foot in the church, one feet in the world. I have both feet in the world. I was just um, under the under the influence, kind of, of some Catholic people, some people who met well in my life, and they were trying to do good things for me, but I wasn't listening. I was just out there doing my own thing. So if that's you, listen, you, you have a chance. Amen? And God, you are one step away of God changing your life forever. And the one step... The one step is, it's called honesty. Admit that you need God. Admit that you are a sinner and that you need Jesus to forgive you. Go to Jesus right now. Ask him to forgive you. He will forgive you and he'll give you the promised Holy Spirit. Amen. Available to every single person who says yes to the Lord. Amen. Then you'll start confessing because then you'll believe in his word. He will light his word up in your life. Amen. You'll start reading the word now with understanding. He'll give you revelation. You won't worry about trying to manifest your own reality. The reality of God is the ultimate manifestation and the revelation you could ever have in your life. And then from there, you'll start getting a godly appetite. And you'll start doing the best exercise you could ever do in your life. Reading his word and activating his word in your life. So I hope you got something out of this wellness devo. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. Remember, uh, this is uh, the last weekend probably on here focusing on this media. My podcast is going to be 100% going, Lord willing. But then the platform, I'll be sliding it over starting Monday. Amen. At 10 p.m. Starting Monday, 10 p.m., I'll be on the other platform. If you watched my video on YouTube or on Facebook last night, I did a quick tour of what the platform looks like and what we're going to be getting ourselves into. It's clean. It's distraction-free. That's my guarantee. Distraction-free environment, all-welcoming environment. Nobody um, is going to be um, acting crazy on that platform. And if we do get visitors that want to act crazy, we could simply ban or mute them i probably won't ban them because i still want to get in conversation with those people but i'll mute them so that way nobody will be get offended with the comments if it has any vulgar statements or whatever cursing or any pictures that are not appropriate for what's going on right because then that could become a distraction so there's gonna be no arguing no debating it's just gonna be getting together right in a community that you could be safe in safer than this social platform Amen. Because, you know, when I, I do a lot of online ministry, I do a lot of ministry in, on TikTok, Facebook, um, Clubhouse, a stereo app. I do a lot of ministry through those apps. And there's a lot of things you have to deal with. You have to see. You have to hear. Amen. Just to get um, to a soul. Because there's living people on these platforms. Not only robots. There's a lot of robots, too. A lot of um, automated uh, artificial intelligence going on on the platforms. But they are human beings, obviously. I am one. You are one. And a lot of people you know that's on there. And there's millions and millions and millions of people daily, hourly, on these platforms. So it's a great place to minister the gospel. Amen. It won't be received by everyone. You'll get mocked. You'll get... um cursed out you know you get ridiculed made fun of and all that stuff but that's part of it but when one soul gets this gospel message amen it'll be all worth it and then from one soul to the next and then people get saved and then you continue the work of the gospel to expand god's kingdom here on this planet so i hope you are blessed god bless you god keep you remember always god is good and remember i'm gonna leave the last thing you're gonna see right here is the promo flyer for 
September 27th, Monday. Amen. Just go to that website if you haven't done it already. Sign up or you could go straight to live.sowinnerswithaz.org. Um, click the top left. There's three little um, dashes. Click that. It says sign up, sign up. It takes, I promise you, it takes like 35 seconds to do the whole process. And then it's one and done. You don't have to do it ever again. But then you'll be ready for Monday. And all you got to do is go on there and click your 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 name and boom, you're on. You're waiting for the live chat to activate. You have notes, a note, a notepad. You have a Bible. You have a live chat area. And then you have videos, and then you have the live. Um, the what we're doing, share your faith series for free. You know, I think you you could take time and hang out with us. I think we're gonna have a good time starting next week. So God bless you and God keep you. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>